せる波をずっと一人見つめてた何も知らずにそうよ期待に応えた What's up everyone? Hookah Chef back here and today I have a new hookah review、um, Been slacking on doing reviews lately which is honestly just my fault I've just been wanting to just chill not have to Work any extra since I've been working a lot at work. But、uh, I asked a bunch of people what they would rather me see review, and、uh, overwhelmingly, most people said the brand new Japona Hookah. So, this is actually the Japona V3.、Uh, I know there's been a lot of debate whether it's released yet or not.、Uh, I do believe it is released, but I got this as a prize winning from winning the、uh, Hookah Expo Worldwide Hookah Battle. And I want to thank John Nador and Jake Jacobson for you know, putting on Hookah Expo Worldwide. And、uh, I want to thank my friend David for supplying the hookah for me to use, and my friend Stefan for supplying the fruit for me to carve to do the,、uh, the competition. I'll actually put a photo of the entered piece up somewhere around here. But yep,、yeah, so I have a hookah to go over. First is the base. So it's actually a really nice, heavy, thick walled base. I don't like the fact that it's a black base because it's really hard to see your water level, but luckily, if I hold it up to like a window and see sunshine through it, you can still see the water line. This thing has a really cool feature, but also kind of an annoying feature.、Um, so it's all glass up to here. And then it looks like they somehow, I guess, glued it a metal fitting on here. And I guess it's just so people don't shatter the glass while putting in a stem. Like if you were, say, to hit the, the down stem right here. The only bad thing about it is on the inside, it might be hard to see, but I'll show another close up.、Um, it has a little lip on the inside, and I've accidentally, multiple times now, hit it. That would have been really bad if it shattered mid video. And I don't know if, why they have it such an extended lip on the inside. And I was really worried when I first got this that it might you know, restrict some airflow.、Uh, it doesn't, by the way, but I was really worried about it. So, if anyone knows why they do that, maybe、uh, let me know. But other than that, it's a really nice base, except for it is painted on the outside. So, when I first got it, there's little scratches on the inside, or on this side, and you can actually see into the base,、uh, which ironically does help me you know, figure out how much water I have in there sometimes. And also, from moving it around, there's scratches all on the bottom where the paint just came off.、Um, it's just some cosmetic things, doesn't really bother me too much. I'm actually really debating on just going over this with a steel wool and getting all the paint off, anyways. So, second thing is the stem. So, gorgeous stem. This is one of the best looking Russian pipes that I've seen. And my favorite thing about it is it's a wooden exterior pipe that doesn't copy Regal. So, as most people know, Regal is a huge US brand and very, very highly copied,、uh, especially from other countries. Luckily and very happily for me, it doesn't seem Japona has copied them at all except for using wood, which, in all honesty, Regal wasn't the first to use wood anyway, so they're good there. And it's a completely different style of like lathing, so in all, it just looks really nice. The only thing that I don't understand is it's, it's a Russian hookah, but it's Japona, so it's、J、Japan, like Japanese style, and it's All you know, samurai, ninja, and stuff like that. That's what they're marketing and stuff like that is. But overall, I mean, I actually really enjoy the look of it. It has a removable diffuser. Diffuser works pretty well. You still get a slight rumble. I think they could have done a few more holes、um, and maybe a wider or a smaller hole at the very bottom. But threads are really nice in there. And that's the only part where the souk actually breaks apart besides the purge itself. And the purge is actually pretty good. And one thing I do want to talk about since this is the V3,、um, the first two versions of this were an open chamber. But now you have that nice traditional closed chamber, which is really nice and it purges excellent. So, next. And it fits in the base. Fantastic. I'll go and show that. Like, it's a really seamless fit. And I think that might be one of the reasons they use the metal fitting. But a、uh, really seamless fit, so it looks really nice there. Although I have messed up a couple times thinking I'm grabbing the base and accidentally grabbed the stem. Luckily, it has a pretty good hold on it, so I haven't dropped the base or anything. Drop the base. Alright, next is the tray. So, the tray is where I have a couple little issues. 
Uh, for one, it, it fits onto the tray rest really well, so it doesn't wobble around. And it has this. So this is just a little thing, so when you put your coals on it, it doesn't come in direct contact with the metal, so it doesn't scorch the wood underneath. Uh, apparently that was a problem with previous versions. Um, and I like that. But this thing, I don't know, it's not just water spots, but it, it has like little stains all on it from washing. And I've always dried it off and stuff like that, so it, it has just little marks all over it. Hopefully you can see that. But other than that, I don't like the fact that this metal is attached to the wood. It just, because this doesn't feel like it's a super treated wood, especially on the inside right here. I'm afraid if I overwash this, the wood will expand or something, it's not gonna fit right, or it might degrade over time. So all I've been doing is just taking a, a damp cloth or something to it. Uh, also, the movement of this has put a bunch of little scratches all in there. So it just kind of takes away from the appearance. Uh, and it's all held on by the grommet. When I first got this, when I saw this grommet, this is just the one it comes with, I didn't think it would be good. I thought it was gonna melt just by how thin it is but I actually really enjoyed it. It's, it's really thin, so it holds on to pretty much every ball I have, and it holds the, the actual tray down really well. And it comes with this hose, and this has been probably my favorite hose as of late. Um, I've just been using it with all my hookahs. It has a spring so it doesn't kink on you, and it just it matches the hookah really nice. Metal tip, uh, no signs of rust or anything. Uh, it's nice soft touch silicone, which is another plus for me, and it's not too heavy. So all in all, I mean, it's a really nice setup, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything else while smoking a bowl because I did get some other things with this hookah that I don't think are necessarily um, included with it. Hello there. Included with it, but I got them and they are a Japona product, so I'll go over a few more things that I like and dislike about this hookah, and yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs> So, as you can see, I'm smoking. Got my alpaca predator bowl uh, with trifecta moro zest, trifecta noir, and trifecta dirty mint. And it is smoking great using the Apple on Top Provost, two Fumari Fuoco coals, and just smoking. So I don't have any complaints about the draw or the purge or anything like that on this. Uh, all in all, it's actually a really solid pipe when it comes to the smoke, like not aesthetics or anything, just smoking experience. Really solid pipe, no leaks, no nothing like that. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention about the hose, I don't know if it's just me, if I got kind of unlucky and got a stretched out hose or something, but this like falls out really easy. Like I'm really not putting any actual effort into pulling that apart. So it, it comes out really easy. So I'll be smoking and every now and then the hose will just be like, kind of a little fuck. So that's one of the minor adjustments. I don't know, it could be just the hose has gotten heated up from being in Vegas and just kind of kept the, the wider shape so it doesn't stick as well, but it's still airtight when I actually put it in there. Now, when I won the hookah battle, I actually did get a couple other gifts along with this. I actually got some Japona bowls. Uh, this is just what I'm assuming is their, their basic funnel bowl. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they're just like a cheap ceramic. Um, they don't smoke the best, but they are really thick, so they don't smoke the worst either. I definitely have way worse ceramics. Plus, I got three more bowls that come in this really cool box. It says Japona Hookah, made in Russia, St. Saint Petersburg, JaponaHookah.com. And it just, it's a pressure fit lid, so it just pops off really nice. And, as you can see, I have three bowls right there. Now the really cool thing about these bowls, and I have used one of them. I haven't used the other two because they just take way too much tobacco. But I don't really want to use them too much because they're really nice looking. Like, it's got this really cool wrap and I think it's pretty awesome looking. Uh, I was actually worried when the first time I used this one, because this is the one I used, I used it with the uh, the Phoenix, 
and I was worried that it was going to get so hot that this wrap was going to like melt or something because I don't know exactly what material it is, but it has kind of a, a plasticky feel. Nothing bad, but it's kind of a plasticky feel. But uh, really good airflow. This one's actually kind of the perfect depth, so I have no problem there. It's really intricate, uh, intricate carvings and stuff on there, and it's made for HMDs because it's got that little lip. Not that that really matters or anything. Then the other two are the same. They got the really nice wrap on them and cool little designs, but they're massively deep, like too much for for what I want to use. Or smoke, honestly. Or smoke, honestly. Sorry about that. And, I mean, they look really nice, though. Like, if I was going to use them, I would have the only concern of these holes are massive, so I'd be afraid of tobacco just shooting straight down it. But other than that, I mean really like them plus I just really like this box I kind of keep it on display over in my uh, my hookah area it, it holds really well probably shouldn't do that too much but like I said they're kind of a ceramic -y mixture of clay or something so I don't really use them just they develop hot spots and whatnot but this hookah smokes great has a really nice draw on it. Very similar to a, uh, a Starbuzz Made in USA, the, like their original ones, not the carbine. Uh, very similar to that draw, but with like a diffuser on it. And it's not like a super, super smooth diffuser. I've definitely had much smoother, but it definitely has that just slight little rumble to let you know that you're smoking. So, you know, it's not like a glass hookah that's you're just gonna take a big hit, not hear anything, and all of a sudden, huge smoke comes out of your mouth. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy it. I've been taking really good care of the wood if I accidentally get it wet or anything, I make sure to wipe it off as soon as possible, especially while cleaning, because I always like to clean this area where the purge is. And uh, speaking of the purge, the purge is really well. I mean, there's no problems with it. I've uh, put it on a clear base, and it has easily cleared the entire base in, in w less than one breath. So, Also, I haven't had any problems with getting water in the hose. I was worried about that with this uh, shape. And that's another thing that I'm thinking that little lip on the inside of the, the metal bracing is. I'm thinking it might be to help prevent water going up in the hose, which if that's the, the case, then that's a very smart like thing that I think a lot of other hookahs might need to take advantage of, or at least bases. But uh, yeah, all in all, very happy with this hookah. I want to thank Japona for sending it out to uh, Hookah Battle for a prize. I want to thank Hookah Battle for putting on the contest. And I want to thank Hookah Expo Worldwide for hosting everyone, including the battle and everything. It was a fantastic time, met a lot of great people, met some people who I've already met before, and it was great hanging out with them again. And then all in all, it's just a fantastic time. But I'm going to get out of here. If you have any questions about this hookah, hookah in general, cooking, I don't care, drop a question in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, um, just talk to me, I guess. Um, I'm going to get out of here and finish up this bowl. Mm -hmm.